Pokemon Stadium, tell us about it, Shades. Jeff. Jeff. Oh. Jeff. There we go. <laughs> Should we do that over? <laughs> no. Okay. That was a touch. All right. <laughs> anyway, so this is my old po uh, N64 Pokemon Stadium save file. You can see here that I have unlocked the round two of a uh, version of the game, which is like the more difficult version. See, so you, you know, when you first buy this game, you get the plain vanilla Pokemon Stadium here. And you know, this is basically Weenie Hut Jr. Uh -huh. But af after you beat the Elite Four and beat Mewtwo, you unlock round two Pokemon Stadium. And basically the spirit of today's episode is that you can see here, I did not unlock the Mewtwo fight because I never finished some of these uh, events here at Pokemon State in the uh, round two of Pokemon Stadium. But Tim, I have deceived you. I have deceived you on today's stream. I told you that I'd be playing through Pokemon Stadium. You didn't I am say not. anything. Tim, you're going to play through Pokemon Stadium because every decision I make is going to be your decision. I will be your avatar in today's episode. I'm Today, I am Ash Ketchum, and you are the voice of Professor Oak in my mind. You will tell me which rental Pokemon to pick, and you will tell me the moves to do, and we will finish off the remaining trophies that I'm missing in round two. Or maybe we'll not. <laughs> we'll figure it out together. So let's, let's start off in uh, the Pika Cup, which is level 15 to 20. And we're gonna use the rental. What are my registered Pokemon? These are from my Game Boy game. Oh no, these are rentals that I thought were cool. Let's not use. Let's. I want you to have the the freedom of decision here. Now, Tim, I don't know if you played Pokemon Stadium. Have you? Like 20 years ago. Okay, so perhaps you'll recall the way the rental Pokemon work is that uh, you might be like, why would I not choose like an evolved War Turtle over Squirtle? The way that balances sets. out, what? Different move sets and all that, right? Right. The the yeah. balance is that you might pick an evolved Pokemon, but the lesser evolved Pokemon will have the cool moves. Like you can see here, Squirtle has Blizzard and Surf, whereas War Turtle. Okay, so War Turtle has Surf, but not Blizzard. So that's kind of the balancing act we play with the rental Pokemon. So Tim, this this is level 15 to 20 battles. Tell me which rentals interest you, and I'll I'll scroll scroll down slowly. You can tell me. We have to pick six of these guys to get us through a sequence of matches. I don't even know what's involved in this. You just tell me what Pokemon interests you. We'll take a peek. We'll look at their moves. And you tell me if that's a Pokemon that interests you. Uh, let's go Haunter. Haunter. Good choice. Good choice. Good move set. Good move set. Are we using Haunter? Uh, let's check out Ghastly. Psychic is pretty good. Yeah. And it's because he's going to have, he's going to be weaker than Haunter, but he has Explosion, which is like his is get that... out of jail card. Yeah. Did Haunter did, uh, have Explosion? I thought he had something like self -destruct. self -destruct. Okay. All right. Do you want to check out Gengar, Gengar just for... Sure. Okay, so Gengar, Mega Drain is nice, but we, lo we lost Psychic. So did any of those three interest you? Uh, let's just go with Haunter. Okay, good. A good middle ground. There we go. Uh... I'll, I'll continue to scroll down slowly, but if you can think of a Pokemon off the top of your head, you just let me know. This is the Pika Cup, so some of the larger Pokemon aren't going to be in the, uh... So, like, Articuno, Moltres, Zapdos aren't in here. Sure. I was not ready for this, Jeff. <laughs> Were you not ready to use your brain? No. Definitely not in this way. <laughs> Don't worry, we you can take your time. This is part of the fun, right? Rediscovering our love for these Pokemon. 
feel like there's some pretty big gaps in here. I don't know if it's just... Do you want to start off... Do you want to start off doing the difficult cup? No. That's, okay. Like, this one's fine. Um... Let's check out Growlithe. Growlithe? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good fire type. Only fire blast? Well, I would prefer for him to have flamethrower. Yeah. What is, um... Arcanine? Arcanine, yeah. Ember. Ember. Ember is a more reliable move, but like, it's like a weaker it's, yeah, fire. Yeah, significantly yeah. weaker. Uh, let's keep going. I want a good uh, fire down type. Or... Yeah. Gen one is is tough with fire yeah. types. Like, you want to check out Charmander just for laughs? Charmander yeah. Charmeleon. So Charmander has fire blast, seismic toss, growl. Who used growl? No one's gonna use Growl, let's be real. I find Toxic to be a pretty good move in Pokemon Stadium. But I'll leave it up to you if you want to come into a Charmeleon. It's a weird mixture of moves. Yeah, I don't see... I don't know if you, you're you someone who's gonna use Swords Dance. Yeah. <laughs> Not in Gen 1. Do you, let's see, if, you're, if we're focusing on Fire Taps, where's Volpex down here? Fire Blast, Double it's Edge, like they go dig. from Fire Blast to Ember, nothing in between. Man, maybe it's just because it's the Pika Cup. Maybe. But they had Blizzard, or they had Surf. Someone had Surf, which would be like the... War Turtle had Surf. Yeah. Oh, let's see. Ponyta? Yeah. One Drill. No, uh, you... I think, I think I've exhausted all the fire types unless we have a oh. Magmar in here. Yeah, I was gonna say, is there no Magmar? I don't see Magmar on the... Weird. Yeah, it feels like he fits the theme of, like, smaller Pokemon here. Yeah, sure. Uh... I guess let's go with... What did Charmeleon have? Ember, Toxic, right. and Mega Kick, Swords yeah, Dance. Those are, yeah, let's go with that, I guess. Alright, we got our fire representative on the team. Um, we did point out that War Turtle had Surf. Yeah, that's a good one. These are 3v3 battles? Yes. So we'll pick a team of six. But yeah. then we'll commit three to the battle. I'm just thinking about like type coverage. Sure. As one should, as a proper Pokemon trainer should. No, all, all you rock Pokemon <laughs> only. <laughs> We're getting wiped out by one, one Gyarados. Oh no, it was a Gyarados. <laughs> I thought I saw Gyarados in here. There was not, a Gyarados down not there. Not suggesting we go with it, because it gets wiped out by a single electric attack. This is true, but we'll, we'll look at it. Yeah. That's not a great, that's not a great yeah. move set. What about Lapras? What's Lapras got? That's, a, hey, eh? Ice Beam is always good. Bubble Beam's reliable. Yeah, huh? Yeah, let's go with that. Um... I want to see what Mr. Mime has. Okay. Mega Kick? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I guess we could go with a grass type. Oh. Let's go, let's start with Ivysaur and Bulbasaur here. Yeah. Solar Beam! Okay, Mega Drain's more reliable than this. I don't like two-turn moves. I'm, I'm yeah. anti-two-turn moves. Unless we have a way to paralyze them or something ahead of time. But, even then. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go through the grass types here. You, you tell me if one uh, tickles your fancy. So to say.
Huh. That's an interesting... That's an interesting setup. Yeah, let's go with that. Um, Exeggutor? Yeah. Why not? Yeah? It's got a good variety. Uh-huh. Um... Good against... I want to see what Scyther has, just out of my own curiosity. Oh, man. It's before they had any good bug moves. <laughs> Who's gonna round out this team, Tim? Who are you feeling? We got a ghost type. Fire, water, grass. We can cover... We can, we need an ele we can have an electric representative. Yeah. Maybe a reliable normal type. I'm... Ground type. We don't have good coverage against any flying, so let's look for an electric type. Well, surely Pikachu would cover that, right? That's Thunder Wave and Thunderbolt yeah. are the two moves I would want, but Pikachu is not an evolved form, so Oof. we're rolling the dice with Thunder. The nice thing is, like Thunder Wave, at least would help set up, but I don't know, I don't recall how reliable Thunder Wave was. I remember Gen 1, the fastest Pokemon were like Voltorb and Elect- okay, so Electrode's not there. Okay, interesting. Who are we- Jolteon's not gonna be in here. Did you look at Magnemite? Where- oh man, what number was Magnemite? There we go. Okay, interesting. Let's go with Magnemite. Alright. Magnemite, you are officially on the team. Type coverage. Ty, what are we thinking here? Electric? Got good coverage against rock, ground, fighting, I think. Maybe. We could go for a flying type. Yeah, flying would be useful. I, I just want to see what Geodude has out of my own. Dude oh. has a pretty great skill set. <laughs> Damn, that's pretty good. Geodude no. got them hands, dude. <laughs> Are we going to rearrange this entire team just by seeing Geodude? <laughs> no, 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 but like Earthquake is like... Earthquake's pretty good. It's like one of the best attack moves. Geodude is an unevolved form of a Pokemon, though. We don't have Graveler or Golem in here. But this is a smaller, smaller Pokemon cup. Yeah, it's weird. They have, like, the other trade Pokemon, but not, like, the yeah. full chains of those, but not... Like you would think Alakazam is too big to participate. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, well, whatever. I'm just gonna look at some Pokemon here, not to try to sway your decision, but you tell me if... I don't know. Or if any of, you know, maybe you think of one that I don't look at. Oh, jeez. I didn't expect him to have a good move set. You know, let's let's go with uh, Nidoking. Alright, so this is our team. And Tim, you will guide every choice and decision I make in these battles. You are the voice of Professor Oak in my mind. Okay. Who's batting lead off, Tim? And I can, before you commit, I can preview their moveset. Yeah. So you let me know. Uh, let's see. We got some. Got three flying types on their end. Uh huh. Um, a three bug. I forgot Hunter has Thunderbolt. Oh.
Gonna want to deal with a gr Let's go with Charmeleon, I think. Yeah, Charmeleon. Charmeleon is that lead off? Uh, yeah. We'll want... Haunter. Haunter with Thunderbolt. Good yeah. choice. I, I agree. I agree. Uh, let's see. We have Tremillion of Haunter. Tremillion, Haunter. So those will deal with. Well, both those could deal with. Pretty much everything on here. Uh, let's throw in Magnemite. Magnemite as the anchor of the team here. We feeling good about that? Charmeleon, Haunter, Magnemite. Yeah, lock it in. Not? Let's yeah. do it. Underway, Pokemon Tournament Pika Cup. This is a tournament for passionate young up. Good start, good start, good start. <laughs> Alright, Tim, tell me. Ember. <laughs> we can live with that. There, it's a hit. I that's forgot seated. that's what that animation looks like. <laughs> you say you want me to keep running back Ember? Yeah. yeah, just keep running back Ember. So if, if Ivysaur goes down, I think Charmeleon is still technically seated. I'm gonna get HP. Yeah, drain. I would think. I would think so. Good start. Good start. Is it some bug type? Uh, oh, okay, psycho. okay. The Pokemon are in So should we stick with Charmeleon even though he's seated? Should we just keep running back Ember? Yeah. Oh, if he has Slash, that might be bad for us if he's starting off with Sword Stance here. Good boy. Both Pokemon appear equally fit. Uh-oh. It's concentrating on its status. <clears throat> oh, what's that? Whoa, that's tough. Nice, nice. means nothing to me. <laughs> Down and out. There's Dodge the fire. Pokemon. Okay, we're down to the last one. What could go wrong, Tim? Nothing. No, we got this. We got this. Ember all the way. Ember all the way. The battle has become one sided. There it goes. Missed the target. Sparks are flying in this heated match. We did it, Tim! Easy peasy! Alright, shut it down. Oh god, that flicker. <laughs> That's the N64, baby! <laughs> I was just sure if that was just on my end. I think, yeah, we get to continue for winning that. Or at least, you know, not losing any Pokemon there. Yeah, oh. man! That's a good team. Hmm.
The Executor will hit War Turtle, Cubone, and Polyrath for sure. And then, um, yeah, let's start with Executor. Okay, Executor batting lead off. Um, Let's go with Lapras. All right, Lapras. Beat. Yeah, that'll be good against. Uh, uh, yeah, the ice is good against the grass and the ice flying. and water. Yeah. And I forget if it's effective against bug or not. I don't think so. I believe ice beam will be effective against bug. Yeah, I wasn't sure on that one. What did Nido King have? Hmm. He's not really effective here at all. Yeah. I think Poison Sting will be effective against Tangela, but it's like yeah. the weakest the weakest poison move of all poison moves. Let's go with Magnemite as a backup. All right. Because we do have multiple water types. And a flying. What kind of battle can we expect to see? Ooh. Tough opening. Tough opening. Okay. Do we do we stick with Executor or do we swap we, him out here? What moves do we have on him? Okay, yeah, let's swap him. All right. Let's go with Lapras. Lapras is a good neutral. So the most of the most of the What move is this? Is this Sky Attack? Hyper Beam? Maybe. Uh, ice Beam. Let's do it. Be either sky attack. Okay. What now? Yeah, that makes sense. There, it's a hit. Oh boy. Well, that wasn't the worst that could have could have happened. That precision right. bulky type. Now, hit. Let's go, dude. Oh, it's a one -hit wonder. What? What Pokemon? A one-hit wonder. That implies that they're they're gone for good. <laughs> the Pokemon are entirely uh, different types. Yeah, let's do Ice Beam then. I'm pretty sure Ice Beam will be effective. Yeah, I was on a, I out. don't 100 percent remember on that one. That wow! It's a fighting down. move. Oh, feel so good, Mr. Stark. Yeah. We don't have good options here. You you are oh, the wait, voice no, of he's he doesn't have any bug type, so I um I... Can we see their moves? Uh from this screen I don't think so. Okay. The trainer like... hasn't issued an order. Yeah, let's go with exit. Exit return. All right, let's do it. Combat safety. Here's a Pokemon ship. I think I forgot a fighting is. This is a fight um, two so I think Executor is half psychic. Yeah. So I think a fighting a fighting attack won't be so bad against him. Yeah, I wasn't sure if if that was the case or not. Um. So I'm just putting some suggestions out there. We could toxic, you know, use toxic to poison him. Yeah. Set the stage for Magnemite to close it out. The trainer hasn't issued an order. 
does have a lot of HP. Yeah, let's do that. Let's start with a uh, toxic. All right. What's the matter, trainer? <laughs> like the announcer starts belittle belittling us. It do? Hit the weak oh side. boy. I forgot. <laughs> Is Pinter half poison? Oh no. man. Is it not effective against Bug? Yeah, I guess we're relearning some of this as we're going through it. Yeah. I, I don't know what to do here, because Grass is going to be not strong. Or... And I don't believe psychic attacks are good against Bug types. Yeah. I guess we just go. Yeah, let's see. I don't even know what this move is. I don't recall this whatsoever. It's one of those multi-hit moves, I think. Not that it matters now. <laughs> no, Executor can survive this. Let's go, dude. Was it a crit before? I, I missed it. It must have been. Okay. What's that? That's a good hit. Yay! The minimal. Yay! <laughs> The so battle before we, on. Do we let Executor go down, or should we try to salvage him and swap in Magnemite? Yeah, he's not gonna have anything that's gonna be a each other down. super effective against Magnemite, so let's just swap him out. So I'll just call out, this is Gen 1, so Magnemite is not yet half steel. Right. So he might say, if he uses like strength or whatever, that might take a chunk out of Magnemite yeah. as he's swapping in. You still want to swap in Magnemite? Yeah. Like if Magnemite was half steel in this gen, I'd be like, okay, he can handle yeah. getting hit by strength once, but let's see what happens here. Yeah. Yeah. We're not gonna win the speed. Uh, let's throw out Substitute. It's like a yeah. Right. yeah. Magnemite's up. Very fast. Alright. I think, <laughs> unless, unless Strength misses or we conjure up some We're bizarre sequence of events Pokemon. here. <laughs> I think this, this might be an L. Yeah. Wait, do you just barrage? Uh, let's use Psywave. I just want to see what what this does. Okay. If it, you know. Yeah, I don't know that we're gonna get to fire it off. I'm not gonna learn anything from this. Okay. So we did get one continue from that first fight. Would you like to continue from this fight, or do you want to start from the beginning? choose a new team comp. What does that actually do? What do you mean? We can continue from this fight, meaning right. that we don't lose progress. Or we right, can just but do the... we... Is it... Are we starting with the exact same order, or do we just... Yeah, the, all the trainer battles are exactly the same. No, no, I mean, the, the ones we've already selected for this fight, we're using those same three. No, we can. We're gonna re we're gonna re choose. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's go with that. Just let's continue. Yeah, why not? All right. So, do they always select the same? Is it always the same nope. startup? Okay. I just wanted to double check. We might see completely different Pokemon in this sequence. Okay. In that case... Who's our fastest? 37? Probably, probably Haunter. That'd be my guess. I think you are correct, sir. Yep, it's Haunter, yeah. Um, what does Haunter have? Yeah, let's go with Haunter. You want Haunter to bat lead off? Let's do it. Yeah, so if it, if they go with um, 
anything flying or water, we've got the Thunderbolt. If they go okay. with um, the pincer, you won't be able to hit it with any f normal or <clears throat> fighting moves or whatever. And if things go bad for Haunter, we could just self-destruct. Exactly. Just blow up and get out of there. <laughs> um... I still think Executor was a good choice to have. Yeah, maybe we just started off wrong. We can throw him back in there. Yeah. Let's go with the Lapras. Okay. I dig it. What kind of battle can we expect to see? Begin round two. Okay. Same start for them. I'm assuming you want to use Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt. here. Start Let's off with the, with the self-destruct. Show them who's <laughs> boss. <laughs> Assert dominance early, yeah. yeah. We're going to want to get a self-destruct team going. We could totally do that. It's a draw. <laughs> Nobody wins. Oh, boy. Well, let's... I'll let you decide. I'll let you decide. What are what are the moves? Uh, let's go confuse rate. They go into battle poses. What confuse? So none of our moves are going to be effective. Ex you are correct. Yeah. Yep. So let's. So oh, for insight, so weak. I believe Nightshade always does 20 HP of damage, which for level 15 and 16 Pokemon, I think maybe we, we make peace down. with that. I, th I th it's been. I thought it's it was been based off your level, but I. I think I you're remember. thinking of Seismic Toss. Seismic Toss is based on your level. I think Nightshade is always 20 yeah, let's HP. Just, let's use Nightshade. Let's just try to figure out what that does, because I don't remember exactly yeah. how it worked. We're, we're doing QA on Nightshade. Okay, so oh, even. Yeah. Okay. Are you thinking of Sonic Boom? You might be right, yeah. I think that one was always 20. Like that. Yeah, let's just keep using Nightshade. Yeah, Hauncher seems to have the situation under control. No, no point in deviating from the script. Oh no. It didn't do much damage. What a furious. Let's close it out with Nightshade. Yeah. Nightshade. That's a good hit. Wow. Go wow. 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 There's a distinct difference in the number of remaining Pokemon. Hunter might ace this, dude. Oh, I think Hunter's got this. The remaining Pokemon count is three to Thunderbolt. One. The battle has become one sided. Yeah, let's do Thunderbolt. They strike fighting poses. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> I love this announcer, man. That's kind of what I was worried about right there. That's going to take a fair chunk out of Hogger. Yeah, we're poisoned. We're weak to it. What do we have? What do we have? You want to self-destruct as an act? No, no, no. <laughs> what, what Pokemon do we have? Oh, okay. It's... They're staring each other down. What did Lapras... Oh. We got... Lapras I don't had think... water... Well, water moves are fine. The trainer hasn't so let's go with before. Lapras? Yeah. Lapras will resist. Will not. That won't take a big chunk of damage. Oh, there's going to be a change of Pokemon. And we had a water move, oh, which is fine against right. water. What's that? A decent Okay, hit. good. How will the swap Pokemon? How do you want to close it out? Bubble Beam. Throw some bubbles at that. Go into war 
Of course. The underground attack continues. What was the other move we had? It was Grell. Ice Beam, Ice Beam, and Skull Bash. Skull Bash. But the opponent okay. appears beat. Yeah, so just, we're gonna get, yeah, whatever we, I, I believe this is gonna be the last move unless it misses, so just Bubble Beam. Yeah. It's not very fun. Oh, I could have sworn water was neutral, but maybe that's a new later thing. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I wasn't sure what you were talking about when you were saying that stuff. I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, I could have sworn water was like neutral. All right, let's keep this train moving. We're get we lost one, but we got to continue back anyways. Yeah. Earth Haunter. I was. I, I wanted to say that, but I, I wanted to give you the chance to. Because <laughs> all their all their fast Pokemon are weak to th are weak to electric, and they also have several Pokemon weak to electric. Uh -huh. One not is Wigglytuff. Wigglytuff, and if it's yeah. Wigglytuff, if if Wigglytuff yeah. has normal moves, it won't be able to hit. Probably Haunter. they probably won't be exclusively normal, but I don't know. Um, let's get Executor. Um. Put Magnemite, why not? Alright, let's have Magnemite be the anchor. Let's do it all. Let's run it back. I don't know if that's the... It's not the same team. Now, a problem here is a psychic move. Right. And they are going to tank a, quite a bit of the Thunderbolt. This is true. Like a one shot, so let's confuse Ray. Typical slow, bro. Oh, you called it, dude. Well, not the psychic part. He used yeah. earthquake. But Still, now we know. Yeah. Let's use Thunderbolt. The nice thing about uh, Confuse Ray, it doesn't count as a normal status effect, so there is a right. chance for Paralyzer as well. <laughs> oh. We're dead to it either way. Thunderbolt? Is yeah, Thunderbolt. Battle. Good call on the Confuse Ray, dude. What's that? Yeah, it would not have been enough to kill. Slow burst tension. We might have set the stage for another Haunter Ace here. The names are just like, what? What is this yeah, thing? Yeah, what is going on with some of these Pokemon nicknames? Thunderbolt? Uh, let's do Confuse Ray. Dugong is also a little bit tanky. Major damage. Uh, Thunderbolt. They go into battle post. What do it do? It's got the effect. There's nice. a chance we don't die if we get hit. I think he'll be left with 2 HP. No! Of course, it was a crit. <laughs> We're waiting for the next Pokemon. Um, Magnemite. Let's give Magnemite a chance to shine here. Dugong uses oh, Flamethrower. 
What the? <laughs> what? <laughs> Earthquake? Uh, Thunderbolts. No! Don't do this to us! What is this Dugon doing? All the crits. And just pushing past the confusion. Yeah. Mega Drain. Please be confused. No! <laughs> no! Come on, Exeggutor, you can take one of those. And Mega Drain should heal. And it back wasn't a crit. <laughs> well, that was. This is where Furo comes in, right? Okay, good. This is not the worst matchup we could have had. This is yeah. all right. Could still have a nice move. Uh, Mega Drain. Yeah, good luck with that. Oh, we were so we were on the cusp of greatness. Oh, it's that dugong, dude. Yeah, getting two crits in a row. Let's run that one back. We can we can beat that guy. Yeah. We had we had the the right ideas. So we know that they're gonna have earthquake, or at least yeah. who had earthquake? Slowbro. Yeah. I think yeah. I think sticking with the same is fine. So Haunter. Same three. You want Haunter at leadoff? Executor. Yeah. Magnemates at anchor. Yeah. Because Magnemite is too slow to get a Thunder Wave off. Uh, let's do... What did Kingler use last time? What did Kingler use last time? Hyper Beam. Yeah, uh, that's not gonna matter here. Uh, let's go Confuse Ray. You just gotta. Well, you want to get a feel for what he has before we. I dig it. I don't remember how tanky Kingler was. Sir. That wasn't terrible. You can live with that. Okay. Yeah. He's he's got low special attack, or just special, I guess. Let's go Thunderbolt. Nice. Which Pokemon is coming out? Romer. Uh, let's do a Confuse Ray. Yeah, we want to keep him from using that Earthquake. Hunter's got this situation under control. 
is a distinct difference in the number of remaining Pokemon. Oh, it's oh this guy. The remaining Pokemon count is three to one. What did uh, he have that, that messed us up time. last time? He was just a crit with an oh, ice. Okay, yeah. Um, <laughs> we could self-destruct, yeah. <laughs> but it would be nice to get the ace and get another continue. Sure. Too confused, right? Each other down. Face each other. What now? It's confused. Guy with the crits. We're waiting for the next Pokemon. So confuse, confuse Ray won't last. No. So we gotta Let's pick someone Magnemite. who can... Magnemite? Yeah. And let's oh, use Thunder Wave. All right, yes, the Thunder Wave. Yeah. Two to one. The combatants are making spot fly. Should be up to... Assuming it isn't a crit. Yeah. So if nothing else, if Magnemite goes down, he at least set the stage by paralyzing this yeah. dude. He's not only slowed, he's confused. Thunderbolt. Okay, that's fine. Magnemite did his job. Yeah. We're down to one Why does this Dugong get critical hits so many times? That's like the fourth critical oh, hit no. with Ice Beam. Oh, it's consecutive. Is Ice Beam just OP? There's just one Pokemon aside now. Uh, let's hit him with a Mega Drain. Oh, Mega Drain! Wow! And there goes the battle! What is going on with that swimmer's face? <laughs> oh, he's doing the pog face, dude. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Who is this jabroni? I don't remember this guy. Burglar. Oh, he's Burglar's got a good team. I like how Burglar's team is just Pokemon names meshed with Burglar. <laughs> Growler. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Got four that are weak to water. So let's start with a Lapras. Mm -hmm. Let's get... What did Nidoking have again? Nidoking's gonna be weak to the ground moves. What do we use for... Drowsy? I guess it doesn't really matter. Psychic would be bug or ghost attacks. Yeah, but most of which good. were not great for Gen 1. Yeah. Yeah. Um You want a way to deal with the tentacool and the So yeah, probably Haunter. This N64 is struggling to keep this. Yeah. I have I have the N64 like going through an HDMI converter. I'll have to fiddle around with that later. Not a 
that's all the great options out. Yeah. Let's go with Nidoking. King. All right. If nothing else, Earthquake is just a solid move. The crowd's excitement is building. This is round four. Oof. This is not a terrible matchup, though. We might be yeah. able to make this work. Let's just use Ice Beam. They go into Surely we'll get crit hits with Ice Beam, right? No. Wait, what? Is Ice Beam bugged in this game? <laughs> I don't know. We've seen a lot of crit hits with Ice Beam. <laughs> Only crits, basically. The intense battle continues. You want to just run Ice Beam back? Yeah. Now we gotta see for sure if it's just only crits. Good options here. Who did we bring? Mag Magnemite and Nidoking? Hold on, I just want to see Haunter and Nidoking. Yeah. So Haunter would have Thunderbolt, but then he's gonna t he's gonna have to yeah. take a hit to swap yeah. in. Yeah. Let's do Skull Bash. That's a two-turn move. Before we I do know. that. All right. It does boost their defense. Oh no. Okay. Oh, good. It didn't work. It's but why? For the next attack. The crowd's excitement is building but why male models? Rap. Okay, what? Yeah, I almost spit up my trick. <laughs> but why male models? Guess we're not leaving. It can't make no, a... is that how rap works? I thought she'd still be able to hit the, the skull bash. The still going yeah. On. We can't the swap, swap right? It still can't attack. Yeah, I think we're just locked in until oh, rap ends. But now the question is, is Skull Bash still charged up and ready to go? What now? Who's to say? Of all the moves to crit! <laughs> <laughs> we did three damage instead of two! What a furious is rap just OP? The attack is still continuing! Oh. Just annoying. Look, if you wanted me to stick around, you could have just hit me with a normal move. You're just doing a bunch of very little damage. Oh, good. <laughs> Great. I'm not. I'm not wrapped anymore. Oh boy. Half ground. Nido King is half ground. Yeah. Okay. I guess Skull Bash just did go through. It did nothing. Uh, not for, uh, Will this Pokemon swap now the problem is, who's going to be faster? I believe it's going to be Nido King. Probably. Um, let's go with Ice Beam. Oh, of course he's got a Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt. He survived it. Nido King does not have the highest special. Let's go, dude! Alright, let's swap. The remaining Pokemon count is three. We know he has point. You know we know he has Toxic and Rap. Let's swap to Haunter. Uh, yeah, Haunter. If he tries to do that Rap stuff again, it's not going to yeah. affect Haunter. That's yeah. what I'm, I dig it. I dig the plan. Right, Toxic. It doesn't matter. Of course, he's going to hit Surf. Yeah. Let's go Thunderbolt. Outcome. 
No! Oh, I thought I was... for sure Hunter was gonna be faster. Yeah, same. That Not is a like fast, this. That is a fast We're tentacle. Waiting for the tentacle. Next Pokemon. Well, I mean, uh, Lapras is gonna get one tapped. Yeah. Unless, do we want to see if Nido King can like do some sort of status effect? I don't think. I don't think Nido King. Yeah. yeah, let's just throw Nido King in. Because tons of cruel is gonna be faster anyway. Than, uh, oh, Lapras. The remaining Pokemon stock is two to one. Come back let's to use Earthquake. Spot. Agreed. I don't know if this one taps Nido King. Uh, yeah, it's possible. Well, oh, for God's sake! We're down to one Pokemon aside. Did they boost the amount, like the, like how easy it is yeah, to get a crit? Because like, a normal battle does not get that many crits. None of these are good options. Ice Beam, like, high in the sky, Ice Beam has a chance to freeze. Yeah, that's but I know true. That it's a minuscule chance, and yeah. that assumes that Tentacruel misses whatever its next move is. Exactly. Let's just do Ice Beam, why not? So you're saying there's a chance. There's always a chance. Oh, he misses. I don't think we have it. I think this is the end of the the run if we don't have any more continues. And uh, GG's, GG's. Man, Haunter was Haunter's a pretty good choice for this. Yeah. Before we wrap up this episode, I think I would like to see you attempt to beat Mewtwo, Tim. It's just one oh, battle, goodness. and it's just one YouTube, and okay. we get to pick six Pokemon. Okay. I didn't even know this was a thing. Yeah? Mewtwo Raid Boss, dude! Okay. <laughs> and we have all the Pokemon here available to us. Huh. No size restrictions or anything like that. They're all going to be level 100. Surely you want Kakuna to fight that to fight Mewtwo. Poison seed string <laughs> shot? I mean, yeah. Man. yeah. Fuckers not to tackle. I've never seen a Metapod with stats that high. <laughs> this Metapod's been gaming. Yeah, dude. Um, Mewtwo's fast. Has high special. I'm just gonna look at Electrode because I know Electrode's the fastest of Gen 1. Look at that speed, right, Jesus. Yeah. Oh, that's, you know, it's not a bad option. Because he has Thunder Wave. I'll call out that Mewtwo has the move Rest. So if you're uh, if you're leaning toward, yeah. like, status effect moves, Mewtwo does have a get-out-of-jail card with status effect moves. Right. He'll, go, he'll go to sleep. So that's the, you know, maybe we can do some... Yeah. Mr. Mime, how, let's go back to Mr. Mime. I want to see what the, the stats look like. Huh. Does have a barrier and light screen, which are bad against Mewtwo. Because they'll protect which the full team. I think it's light screen is special. Yeah, I'm trying to remember which one's like physical versus special. Yeah, I think it's light screen. Um, let's have Mr. Mime. Alright, Mr. Mime, welcome to the team. 
Let's get... I want to see what Snorlax has. Hmm, not... Uh, not great. Game. Thunder, Fire Blast. What was the other? Slam. It does have a lot of it. It does have a high attack. I'm just gonna look at Dragonator for comparison. Good move yeah. diversity, but that doesn't necessarily help that us against the Mewtwo. Yeah, none of those matter. I think this Mewtwo is gonna have Thunderbolt. Okay. I think this Mewtwo is going to have a Thunderbolt, Blizzard, Psychic, and, and rest? rest. Yeah. Let's get that Electro... Electro... Or... Yeah, Electro... Ele Electrode? Oh, okay. What's our pal Golem got? Useless. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's just Alakazam, too slow. what you got? Yeah, none of those are great. He's not going to be dead on speed. Yeah. He's just... Although, those are all special moves, so they will be... If I remember... Gen 1 that was using the special for the defense against special attacks? Or I believe so. Hey, they were, yeah. The special was not split up into two things yeah. yet. Man, they did Blastoise dirty with this move set. Damn. Hey, you like withdraw and no one likes tail? Withdraw. <laughs> no one does. <laughs> Why would I have those? Um. Alakazam is fast. What does Alakazam have on them? Psybeam. That's. I forgot what Kinesis is. Is that a heal? No, I think it did something with accuracy, but I don't remember what. Oh, Reflect is... What is Reflector again? Was that physical? Because Light Screen is specials, and then Reflect would be physical attacks. Then what is, is that how barrier? that works? Oh, man. <laughs> now, we're, now we're getting into the weeds. <laughs> Although there is a Hyper Beam. That's a cooldown move also, though. Yeah, Keep that but it doesn't mind. matter if we just swap them out after using it. This is true. Especially if Mewtwo is asleep. Yeah. We can hit a Hyper Beam. Just gotta get him out of there. Yeah, and the Hyper... Well, Hyper Beam will be using his attack stat, I believe. Because normal would use attack. So it's not very Man. strong. Let's keep Alakazam on the back of our mind for now, yeah. then. This is a doable fight with rental Pokemon, though. So even though sure. Mewtwo's got a... He's got a diverse moveset. I've, I've definitely beaten Mewtwo with rentals, rentals before. What is it, just 1v... 1v6 or whatever? Yep. Okay. I I recall Chansey was somehow really good against me. Yeah, Chansey's a tanky. Yeah. High special is pretty good. And all of his moves are going to be special. And who knows what surprises Metronome oh, yeah. might bring. Seismic Toss. I think that does damage based on the level. That sounds correct. So that's a hundred. Yeah. If we can hit a seismic yeah. toss on a Mewtwo. You want to throw Chansey in there? Yeah. Chansey's also tanky. Um, this King has gone look like Dizzy Punch. I don't remember what Dizzy Punch did. I didn't realize Dizzy Punch was a Pokemon move. <laughs> I think that was the one that applied confusion or something. 
You might be right. Kangaskhan doesn't seem bad. Although that, that is that is low special. Yeah, so it's not like we're gonna be throwing surf yeah. out there. No. But substitute will help. Yeah. <laughs> Let's come back to this. Okay, so we have Alakazam and Kangaskhan on the back yeah. of our mind here. Yeah, Mewtwo has Blizzard. So as much as I want to throw Dragonite yeah. in there... Tauros, what do you got? Great. <laughs> Good. <laughs> yeah. I don't remember what Lovely Kiss was. I don't think it was any good. <laughs> if Lovely Kiss was a good move, we'd remember it. <laughs> yeah. Look at Song, what do you got? Huh. Got a good move set, but like nothing good with stats. Yeah, move diversity doesn't necessarily help us against Mewtwo. Yeah. Being tanky does does though for like talking, but I feel like Chansey covers that that bit yeah. for us. What does Gengar have? No, it's just Dream Eater. He will have rest, so Dream Eater will help, but it's not gonna. Yeah, it's Dream Eater Psychic, so it doesn't matter. Gengar is po half poison, so he yeah, very likely too. gets. Oh yeah. yeah. I just want to see what Ma Machamp has. Low oh, come kick. on, they they did him dirty with this yeah. moveset. Dang. What about Machoke? What does he got? The better, but still, yeah. I'm, I'm assuming Machop is like the best moves ever. No. Well. So ice moves are not effective against fire type, so we could have a we could have like an Arcanine in there. You said Thunderbolt? Thunderbolt, Blizzard, Blizzard. Uh, Psychic, and Rest. Okay. What's a Rapidash got? Or maybe even Ninetales for that matter. Ninetales is probably Nine better. Ninetales has Confuse Ray and yeah. Quick Attack. And is faster and has higher special. Let's go with nine tails. Oh. Well, now I have to see what Wigglytuff has. Oh, yeah. A lot worse. <laughs> yeah. Man. So the part I, I zoned in on is Clefable being a tankier yeah. Pokemon with Thunder Wave. Yeah. But we'll keep we'll keep Clefable on the back of our mind here. An electric type would presumably Yeah, because Mewtwo wouldn't have a ground attack. Yeah. Oh, but we got Electro to cover that bit. Sort of. I don't remember what he had, but it, whatever. Can we look at a Pokemon we already selected? Nah. Okay, so we had Alakazam on the back of our mind. We had Kangaskhan on the back of our mind. I keep going back to Snorlax because I value the tankiness of him. But man, <laughs> this moveset. 
Yeah. We're really banking on Metronome to be something amazing if we take Snorlax. <laughs> well, Takedown's not going to be terrible. It's, it's yeah, I guess we could. fairly high. But a special is not the best. There's value in taking a tanky Pokemon like Snorlax to hopefully make Mewtwo run out of Blizzard. Because Blizzard only has 5, five PP, if I remember correctly. Yeah. So assuming, like, hypothetically, let's say we we count the number of times Mewtwo uses Blizzard, he's out, then someone like Exeggutor is safe to hop in. Her? Yeah. What what did Exeggutor have? Solar Beam. I don't know for sure. It's so slow. I feel like he might have more than five Blizzards, though. He might have, like, seven blizzards in the chamber. Seven blizzards in the chamber. <laughs> you want to throw Ditto into the fight and just have <laughs> Spider-Man pointing at Spider-Man? Do the stats carry over? I don't remember. I don't think so. I don't think yeah. it does. <laughs> Do you want a winner of you two? Sure. <laughs> Oh, so if Thunderbolt, no, because he'd use a blizzard against Zapdos, yeah. he'd be on to our tricks. What does Hypno have? Hypno is like a good, like, Mewtwo wouldn't have anything great against him, but it seems like he wouldn't really dish out a lot either. Yeah. We could just, he's, we know Mewtwo's going to go to sleep anyways. Yeah. <laughs> None of these help. Wait, let me go back to Kadabra and Alakazam. Because Cover, dig, reflect. Mm. No. Yeah, he doesn't have anything good. But it's a good neutral matchup, you know what I mean? Like, Mewtwo wouldn't really... Well, psychic damage is not very effective against Psychic. Right. Right. Yeah, right. So it's not going to be great. And then the Hyper Beam is just going to be based off his attack, which is right. terrible. Let's look at Meowth in Persian. <laughs> it's pretty good speed. But nothing else. Screech lowers... Defense. Uh, Throw Persian and just a Screech. Oh, Golduck's not half psychic. Well, you two would use Thunderbolt there. Yeah. And, you know, our... The three fan favorites are all gonna get got by something in Mewtwo's arsenal. Yeah. By three favorites, you mean... Weedle, Kakuda, and but Beedrill. <laughs> of course! <laughs> I did not hate what Clefable had. Yeah. Clefable was Clefable was pretty good. I don't know, I think for me. Let, let's let's look at Kangaskhan one more time. Where did Kangaskhan go? There she is. That's pretty good. For what we're trying to do here. Yeah, it's not bad. I think that's fine. Okay. It's like, we need ways to get in some damage. Yeah, I feel like we have a team that can stall for time. Like, the, the current makeup of this team is like is like stalling for time to, to have one guy throw in the throw in the Haymaker, the KO punch here. I just don't know who's gonna be that Pokemon. Who rounds out the team, Tim? What do you feel good about?
That's not bad. Yeah, Blizzard won't be effective against someone who's just pure fire. Yeah. Stats aren't the best, but... Confuse Ray could stall for time also. Yeah. But again, uh, you know... Low HP. Low. But they're not going to be... They're going to be trying to get in some damage. I want to see what Eevee has just for fun. <laughs> we could just spam sand attack, brother. Rest won't take away a bunch of sand attack lowering. That's true. Eevee might if if we have like a faster Pokemon than Eevee with sand attack. That's that's true. What is Jolte Jolteon's fast? Jolteon has sand oh, attack. Pin missile. Oh, dude. <laughs> is Jolteon the play here? No, why not? Throw them in. They're fast. All right, is this, is this the is this the setup? Sure. Are we ready to take down you two here? Yeah. I'm nervous, dude. All right, who bats lead off, Tim? Electrode. And then after that, it, do it doesn't it matter. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Electrode to get our thunder wave in right away. Alright, so you want me to bat lead off with Thunder Wave here? Yeah. Let's do it. Although we do have Flash. Flash does reduce accuracy. This is true. So we can start throwing that out. Well, doesn't matter. I don't know if this is a one tap against Electrode. Yeah. Okay, okay he survived it. Let's throw out some, uh, some Flash. Alright. Because that's going to... That's gonna last for the entirety of the fight. Yeah. Hey, you're not supposed to use it. All right, just keep throwing out that flash. So you're saying we, we can make peace with Electro dying if he just keeps lowering <laughs> the accuracy? Exactly. I dig it, I dig it. <laughs> Just keep running it back with Flash? Uh, yeah. Um, okay. Did we cap off the uses on that? I don't know. Alright, let's use Thunder. Okay. Let's get some damage in. He's probably going to try to use rest at some point. Right. Right. Okay, that's fine. Electrode set the table for the rest of the team. We're still all right. What are you feeling? Um, let's use Jolteon. Let's try that pin missile. I want to see what that looks like. And Jolteon has sand attack as well, just in case Mewtwo Oh, that's rests. true. I'd, that's true. I dig it. So pin missile? Yeah. Should be weak to it, but I don't remember stats-wise what it, it looks like. Okay. Okay. What else do we have on Jolteon? We didn't have any... Okay, let's see you sign attack while he's asleep. Faster than Jolteon? Yeah. Hit him with a sand attack. One more time. Pocket yeah. sand. The most you could do is six times. I'm impressed that you remember that. I didn't realize that it had a limit. I've played a lot <laughs> of these <laughs> games and understood the mechanics pretty well. 
Uh, let's use some pain missile. This has already been lowered four times. Uh, special fell? Yeah. Well, that's not gonna matter if we swap them out if, at some point. That yeah. was useless. Uh, let's do thunder. Okay, he's missing attacks. This has a high chance of paralyzing. The crit is nice. Get another thunder. Okay. If he misses this, we're in good shape. Uh huh. Oh no. So our accuracy is not the best. With, well, it's also thunder. with thunder specifically. Yeah. I think that's like 70, yeah. 75 percent. Yeah. Let's try Thunder again. <laughs> Exciting battle. Thunder. How Someone's gonna PP land. Psychic was only 10 PP? Okay, dang, well. Something like that, yeah. Yeah, I'm... Um, yeah, this is that pal word goof world game y'all been hearing about in the chat. Yeah. <laughs> no current status effect on Mewtwo. Just calling it out before you make yeah. a choice here. Let's get Mr. Mime. Mr. Mime's got this. Mr. Mime's gonna bring it on home. They don't have any strong attacks or anything, but they've got the light screen. You want me to set up light screen? Yeah. And then get him out of there after that. <laughs> you just want him to... This surely shouldn't hit. We did so many sand attacks. Okay, good. So that's one blizzard so far. I'm counting the... how many bullets in the chamber he has for blizzard. So you want me to get Mr. Mime out of there? Yeah. Let's get... Kangaskhan in. No, we're not facing each other. No, uh, we're Tim We're doing the is... raid boss. Yeah, we're... Tim is the voice of Professor Oak in my mind, and he's telling me what to do. Jeff, you can't no use the bicycle for... there. Yeah. <laughs> You're in the middle of a fight. You can't use a bicycle. I want to ride my bicycle, Professor Oak. No, Kangaskhan, no! That light screen did nothing! I don't think substitute's gonna matter. I forgot how- Cause it, all it'll do is just like, he'll take it'll a single a turn. Hit. Yeah. yeah. That's it'll gonna... tank whatever hit. But that's not gonna get us an extra hit in. We could anticipate a rest. Like if if you use substitute and you two rest on this turn, we'll that's have a true, substitute. Yeah. yeah, let's do that. You wanna go for substitute? Yeah. But like why would they why would they use rest? I mean he's below half is what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, I didn't realize that was right. based on HP. Sure. Well, we learned. Uh, Dizzy Punch. Surely he runs out of Psychic eventually. Does this confuse? I can't remember. Yep. Should. I don't know, like, the odds of it confusing, but it is still it has a chance of confusing. Let's do Dizzy Punch again. Nah, he's close. He's gonna rest. Oh, maybe not. Maybe he feels like he can tank another Dizzy Punch. I guess from 
from AI Mewtwo's perspective. Oh, hey! We did it! <laughs> we beat Mewtwo! <laughs> Let's go, dude! <laughs> huh. That wasn't so bad. <laughs> he should have rested. He, yeah. Mewtwo got overconfident, dude. Yeah. I've got this. He's low. <laughs> Yeah, maybe it was an AI thing. They're like, Does it oh, go to low. the credit screen? <laughs> I forgot it goes straight to credit screen. I forgot what this credit sequence looks looks like. Hold on, I, I don't want to. I just want to remember what this was. I'm gonna outro this in a moment here. I just want to take a moment to remember what this was. Okay, it's just gonna go through all the stadiums. Where's the Royal <laughs> Rumble version of... Like, the Royal you get a Rumble Royal Rumble, Rumble of Pokemon? <laughs> <laughs> Someone uses Earthquake and everyone's devastated. <laughs> Someone uses Explosion, there goes half the crowd. Can I skip this? I need to get a thumb- I need to find a good image for the thumbnail. No, please, Pokemon, let me skip. You mean not a close-up of Honda's face? <laughs> this is true. <laughs> well, I suppose I can just outro from yeah. here then. Friends, if you're watching this on YouTube, please be sure to hit like and subscribe, and join us on Twitch one of these days where we play a variety of games just like this one. And if you did join us on Twitch, we hope you have an excellent evening. Well, Tim, we have officially beaten Mewtwo, and if you're a big fan of games that are very, very similar to Pokemon Stadium, join us for our next stream where we will be playing Dead or Alive Extreme Beach Volleyball. Have a nice night, friends. Bye, 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 bye.